In this short tutorial, we will transform an existing project designed in a magazine layout style into a high-tech interface with a circle menu. We'll use the travel project created in the previous session as a basis. Open the travel.pma project in the circle menu folder. Here we have three pages with widgets. If you click the widget, it expands to full screen, making it possible to browse photos, view panoramas, and so on. Let's open the inspector and go to the bottom tab titled Circle Menu. Enable the menu by checking the Enabled box. There is one widget in the center of the screen now. On the left, there is a sector with page titles and a slider with two positions, Next and Previous. This slider changes page widgets like slides. Widgets change according to their order in the sidebar. If the current selected widget is interactive, an additional slider will appear on the right. For example, to zoom up panorama, play video, or browse photos. Using the side menu, we can navigate between pages. All components of the circular menu are configurable. In the presets list, you can select one of the pre-installed presets. When a scheme is selected, item values in the inspector change and you can configure any of these items individually. In the Colors tab, you can configure color scheme for all items. In the Sliders tab, slider geometry and appearance are configured. In the Contents tab, the size and animation speed of the central slide are set. Now I will make a few changes that, in my opinion, would improve the presentation. Select all pages. With Control pressed, select pages in the sidebar. Navigate to the Page tab in the Inspector. Use the background file as the page background. I will make the page title larger. Let's improve the central slide. I will move the title to the center, give it some roundness, and add volume with an overlapping image. These changes should be applied to all widgets. You can do this in two ways. First, you can configure one widget and apply the style to all widgets. To do this, Use the Apply to Project item in the Format section of the main menu. Here's another way to configure all widgets at once. First, select all widgets. To do this, open all pages. Select the topmost widget on the first page, press and hold Shift, and click the last widget on the last page. In this project, I want all widgets to remain in their places. To do this, We'll have to disable the widget maximization function. Go to the Interaction tab in the Inspector and uncheck Maximizable. Now the widgets don't expand and become interactive. Navigate to the Appearance section of the Inspector. Remove indents. Change the frame color. I'll make the frame white and completely opaque. Let's increase the frame size. Make the widget more round using the radius slider. I will set the value to 50. Go to the Images tab and add an overlay image. Use the Overlay file for this. Select the Fit Filling mode to fit the image. This will add shadows and flares over the widget. Now go to the tab with the title settings. Let's center the title. Press Escape to deselect. Finally, we change the page animation. Navigate to the Animation tab in the Presentation Inspector. I will select the Swipe Animation Style, Vertical Direction, and Slow Speed.